So it was very insightful. I'd like to give the microphone um, to, to Vijay, um, another good friend of uh, mine. Uh, we know it for many years. He's been a senior executive and VP at Etihad Airways and was directly involved. I know we met at Roots Africa in the Seychelles with Alain and several other people. So you know the Seychelles and the connection with air con connectivity, even though you're no longer with Etihad right now. Um, but I wanted to just, um, I didn't think you would be joining. Otherwise, we would have put you on the agenda because Vijay is joining us actually from Singapore, where it's now 2.20 in the morning. Thank you for staying up that late or getting up that early either way, Vijay. Um, good morning. Good morning. It's never too late to catch up with good friends. So I'm delighted to see uh, many of you uh, here. And I must commend you for taking that initiative because there's been no better time when the world needed to actually reflect on the value of travel and tourism. Because I think for long, we've all recognized, and I think uh, Dr. Rifai and, and uh, Alain yourselves and, and others have helped the world understand the critical value of travel and tourism in terms of helping uh, economies take off, in terms of jobs, and, and I mean here in terms of very low level jobs and very high level jobs, so very critical for society. Um, but in today's uh, very unprecedented and unpredictable times, uh, we need to come together and see how we help travel and tourism uh, in a way come back. Uh, it will definitely not be the same world. Uh, obviously, uh, we are already beginning to live in the new normal, which is very different from what we used to, to uh, uh, experience. I mean, the airlines, as you obviously know, the airlines and cruises are the most affected by the uh, pandemic, uh, not only in terms of the health, but also the economic consequences. I mean, airlines which were really well run before the pandemic are being challenged and let alone airlines which were not well run uh, are today facing um, literally a bankruptcy and that will obviously have an impact on how tourism uh, seeks and finds revival when if, uh, the world opens up again uh, so i think two challenges today is how do we help countries help the airlines uh, reshape and uh, survive somehow, perhaps in a smaller scale. Um, and secondly, look in terms of tourism, uh, because obviously international tourism is going to be impacted significantly by the impact on airlines, which means to go back to Dr. Rifai's point, emphasis on domestic tourism and to Alain's point, regional tourism are both going to be uh, areas we should focus on, if only by default, because as airlines are going to take some time to get their act together and basically fill the skies again, uh, we'll need to get the, the tourism sector up and going somehow. And I think domestic uh, tourism uh, and regional tourism are going to be um, great openings for us to uh, focus on. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Vijay. Appreciate uh, again for getting up that early.